While this might look like a normal crop of cotton to those passing by, a closer look will reveal the damage last week's storms caused as heavy winds from Hurricane Irma flattened a number of plants and damaged some of the bowls that had already been defoliated. However, despite all of this, farmers know it could have been much worse. Well, uh, we've seen some pretty significant damage. Cotton's blown over and cotton is blown out. But for the most part, I would say that we fared better than what we expected and that, uh, that we've done pretty good through it. But dealing with the damage has just begun as farmers now face a number of different challenges with the harvesting season quickly approaching. The wind really hurt us uh, and a lot of people have been focusing on how much it knocked to the ground. Uh, but really we're probably even more worried about uh, you know, the, the lint knocked to the ground. We're actually more worried about the plants that have been fallen over, blown over. Will they stand up properly? How do we get defoliated? How do we get it picked properly? It's questions that growers around South Georgia are now facing as multiple problems arise when a crop is hit by this kind of weather late in the growing season. If it stands up, will the bowls on there that weren't mature, will they mature out and open properly? Uh, will, once we get to that point, will we be able to defoliate them and get them open properly? Because when the plants lay on the ground, your, your defoliation is only hitting the top, so the bottom's not going to defoliate well and open well, and it's just going to be really hard to pick. Uh, a, lot of these, a lot of these plants are just kind of wrapped around, tangled, and going on it all which way, and it's just hard to get through the field. When the harvester gets there, how are we, you know, how's the harvester going to take it? Some of that that's blown into the way the picker's going to come, it'll probably pick it pretty good. When you turn around heading the other way, you're probably going to have some trouble. So there's still some more loss there that you can't even see or even figure at this point. As for the early varieties of cotton that had already been defoliated, assessments are still ongoing to determine how much the quality and quantity has been affected. We're actually going to do some estimates picking it up and ginning it through our microgen that Cotton Commission helped us uh, fund. And uh, we're estimating, uh, uh, my, personally, I think we got at least 100 pounds on the ground, maybe even more like two or 300 pounds of lint on the ground with, with stuff that was defoliated. Thankfully, farmers in the area did have plenty of time to prepare for the storm. And while there wasn't much that could be done to protect the cotton, they were able to limit the damages to their own property. There's not a whole lot you can do for the crop itself. It's at God's mercy. But um, we did a lot of the irrigation systems. We got about 60 irrigation systems on this farm and pointing them in the direction that we thought the bulk of the wind was coming from and or just getting them out of the field if they're a pivot that doesn't have to sit in the field just get them out of the way as for the next step farmers should be hoping mother nature will be a little more kind during the next month uh, the best we can do is have some some open weather and good harvest weather all the way through the season because if we get more rains on top of this it's going to even make it more difficult so uh, really um defoliate it on time and 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 do the best job you can defoliate and picking it that's all that's all we can do reporting from tifton I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.